Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a while. I haven't really had a lot of stuff to film. However, we got a few projects that we're going to start working on right now. As you can see, Mississippi Queen in the background. Bobby got himself a 55 Chevy. However, I haven't really been able to figure out what I want to do with this thing. We built it to do burnouts, and it's kind of not my thing. Like, I just don't really enjoy it, and I made it too nice, and I don't want to ruin it. And with the burnout competitions, you got to be doing some pretty wild stuff, and I just, I don't have it in me to destroy it. It's just not my nature to destroy motors and all that stuff, purposely at least. So, I've been trying to come up with an idea of what I want to do with this thing. And after Garrett's all-wheel drive shootout, which I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen, I was just ate up and I had to do something four-wheel drive. So I could search and search and search for a long time on if I could make this thing four-wheel drive. And could I do it? Yes, it's a ton of work to make the two-wheel drive stuff kind of convert. I have to do a bunch of custom stuff. So I kind of just pushed it to the side and I was like, all right, whatever. I'll just have to buy an all-wheel drive truck. Well, last week, one of my customers was talking to me and we were going back and forth about it and he just so happened to have a four-wheel drive truck that they were not going to use anymore so i went ahead and picked up the frame and the rest of the chassis off of him so that we can make this happen so we've got basically a donor frame it's got a front diff in it and everything else we need for four-wheel drive stuff which uh Front control arms and everything are different. They're mounted in a different location on the frame than the two-wheel drive stuff. So we're going to go ahead and body swap Mississippi Queen onto this. And then we'll have us an all-wheel drive setup. I've already done a ton of research before they brought this to me. I have figured out how to make a power glide work with a transfer case. Uh, there's a place that sells an adapter. So I'm going to have to take the transmission out. We'll send that back to FDI. They're going to have to make it a shorty power glide. I'll get the adapter and then it'll bolt right to a 241 transfer case and we'll probably have to make maybe a custom transfer case mount and that's probably about it um i already have control arms being made for this i uh, only thing i'll have to get is a set of coilovers so today i plan on stripping everything out that we're not going to use um mississippi queen is all manual brakes so all the abs all the brake lines have been taken out I have zero of the factory wiring in that truck. Everything runs off the holly. Uh, obviously, we have fuel cell in it, so the fuel tank can go away. And half the cross members back there, we're going to cut out. So we're going to make it, within reason, as light as possible without having to have my man over here come behind me and weld a bunch of stuff in. So two things that we'll probably do will be, we're definitely going to do shock relocation. So they'll be straight up and down in the back. And then an anti-roll bar at, at minimum. Big anti-roll bar. So those will be the two fab things, hopefully, that just need to be done. And then later, we'll probably start, you know, chipping away at it. I've already had a million thoughts of even just front clipping this and putting it on the white truck, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to start working on this. We're gonna actually going to sideline Mississippi Queen for the minute and finish the white truck. So we'll get into this stuff in another video. Um, that's coming very, very soon. We've got a game plan. Uh, we just got to get a couple things situated in here, get that locked down on the ground, and then we can get started on that rig. What do you think, bud? <laughs> I think it's another project. <laughs> yeah. It I needed be, something uh, to do. I was bored. Yeah. It'll be cool. I mean, it's kind of a new new trend going on with the four-wheel yeah. drive stuff. And I'm OG truck. That was what I yeah, started really yeah. racing with was a truck, so I'm like... That's how I met I, you. It's so funny. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, I met TJ. He did the original Power Glide cross member in that yep. however many years ago. But I always, even when I was racing the two-wheel drive, I'm like, look at these four-wheel drive guys, you know? Yeah. Over here yeah. racing a four-wheel drive truck, like, yeah. so much heavier. But now I'm like, all right, nope, you guys are smarter. I need to do this. <laughs> it's just cool. It's an exciting new thing. Yeah. Um, that's kind of what it's all about. Just... Yeah. Something new. Keeping it fresh. Those Coyote trucks are fast, so. Yeah, they're fast. Yeah. We're going to have to do something. I just haven't fully decided if I want to stick with the nitrous and just make it rowdy nitrous or go another route, but we'll see. We'll worry about getting this done. I plan on getting a lot of this stuff stripped today. I need to get a rear end housing and order a few parts for the back. Uh, I already have leaf spring sitting here. Uh, I need to get the slider kit ordered for the back. I have front spindles coming for this until we get our control arms. Um, 
I don't know how long that'll take, but I may buy, there's another kit you can buy um, that uses these control arms to make it a coil over, and then we'll just make a new upper shock mount for it. Yeah, be... Oh, that was the other one. One more fab thing was the upper shock mount. Yeah. That was it. And there might be more stuff too, and that's kind of what's exciting is yeah. figuring out, you know, this is kind of new territory for yeah. us, so it'll be exciting to figure out exactly what we're going to do. Yeah, what works. I've already asked several people that I do know that run forward drive stuff, you know, what are you guys doing? What are you guys using? What's going to break? What do I need to do here? And I've got a pretty good idea of what I'm going to do now, but... Some of this stuff would be cool because it's a factory frame. We could make some parts off of it, maybe, which would be cool. I have some ideas, but I, we'll just have to kind of figure it out and put it together and go from there. But this will be fun. All right, guys. So I'm going to get to stripping everything off this thing that I'm not going to use. There's a ton of wiring stuff, brake lines, everything else that I'm not going to use. I'm going to strip it out, and then we'll start cutting out what we're not going to use, get it ready to be body swapped. So a couple things before we set the body on, so I need to get it done. That way we can make this uh, kind of a quick thing. What did you just say to me? This is already. <laughs> I said, you don't want to just build the chassis without the body man on it? I've already thought about you. this. I'm already back there like, right, if I cut this off, this, 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 if we just yeah. back half this part and put a ladder bar on it, it'll work really well. Which I know it will, oh, yeah, it will. but it's just more time. More time, more money. Yeah, time taken away from that one. Yeah, exactly. One. So I'm just going to. I think we should just get it going. That's what I want to do. Then later. Get our feet wet. Yeah. And then. we can Next time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All these cars have multiple editions. Of yeah, them, so. I yeah I was watching videos last night and they had a coyote truck like that thing just all back half four link everything and I'm like all right, so he's fast, <laughs> but we're gonna go like slower than him for now, and then we'll build a chassis. I'm gonna keep this little section of wiring back here. This is for our tail light plugs. So I'll go ahead and keep that. I am gonna ditch this trans cooler. So I'm gonna cut those cross members out. Um, I'll probably end up using the trans cooler. However, I ain't gonna be right back there. All right, so majority of all that is gone. I still gotta get all the little plastic grips off of there. I'll leave the ones up here for now because we can run our other lines right there. But, I think the only thing I still gotta do is remove the e-brake cables. And it's pretty much ready to go outside and be cleaned up. I may cut some of these cross numbers off before I do that. Uh, the only one I'm gonna keep at the moment is gonna be this one right here, just to keep the frame from kind of twisting. So this one will get cut out, that one will get cut out, that one we'll drill the rivets off of. And then we'll, uh, once we get the new rear end in here, there'll be one that comes across right here, just for our shock mounts and anti-roll bar stuff. This will get out. I'll see if I can get that out today. Torsion keys, and then this thing will be ready to be cleaned up and uh, pretty much ready for a body swap. So I'm gonna run to the store real quick, grab some Sawzall blades, and then we'll come back, cut some of this stuff off, and then we'll pressure wash and get everything cleaned up uh, and get ready. We'll probably paint it and just make it look cleaner. And then, uh, yeah, then we can get a uh, Mississippi Queen in here. I would like to do some of the stuff in the back before we do that. So get it all cleaned up, get it ready to get the shock mount uh, set up and the anti roll bar stuff set up. Then we'll put the box. All right, guys, got me a whole bunch of fresh blades. Let's get to cutting.
right guys, got all the cross members cut out. Like I said, I'm gonna leave that one for now uh, until we get our shock bar in. And we might make a couple of chrome alley braces, but other than that, I'm just gonna get the e-brake cables off. And then we can roll it outside, clean up, degrease this rig, and uh, get the pressure washing. Look a little lighter, bud? Here's what we're gonna do. Tell me, tell the people. Tell them what we're doing. You, we're gonna back half this sucker or what, man? All right, so. I'm just kidding. We got, yeah, we're gonna cut it right about here. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Yep. Just no, we'll cut it here, right here where the transmission cross member is. Well, and we only gotta make one body mount. Yeah, I mean, we only really need to here. We only need yeah. the front little That's it. factory. No. That looks good, huh? Yeah, it just looks gotta, good. Just uh, gotta do some, oh, a little bit of grinding and shaving on these. I got them as close as I could, but. Yeah, we'll get some more uh, structure back in there so the frame don't want to... Yeah, move around. Jiggle, right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it looks good. Now shock bar back nice here. Shock mount. Boop. Nice and a roll bar. We'll clean that up. Parachute mount. Spare tire? <laughs> Spare tire, yeah. I just got to cut this mount off. We'll leave that cross member there. I might just go ahead and order a parachute mount. I don't think it'll be that fast, but it wouldn't hurt to have it. I mean, really, well, yeah, I guess we could just make one. Yeah, if you're doing that, we'll just cut that off and make a smaller cross member tube. Yeah, once we do the shock mount. With the parachute mount. Motion has a bolt in one, but I guess we could just make one. Yeah, this not the end of the world. We need a housing so we can swap this one out. We'll leave this one for now. And then we'll just take the whole leaf and everything, roll that out of the way. Really, you need to figure out if you're keeping the leaf springs or whatever. I got, I'm just going to keep the leaf springs. <laughs> I just want to do this quick and yeah. not waste much time. Hey, I like that idea. Yeah. Not like normal, where I'm like, all right, now that we're here, step in your you stepped in the tranny fluid, yep. All right, guys. Doug got the uh, chassis all pressure washed. I was gonna do it, but he's like, "No, nah, I'll come do it." I said, "Okay, say less." But it looks pretty good. All the grease and everything is off of it, so we're gonna leave it out here in the sun, let it dry, and then uh, probably throw some undercoating on it. A little rattle can undercoat job, to clean it all up. I'll be good to go. I'm still trying to figure out what I got to do here with this four-wheel drive stuff. I may try to figure out how to make it all-wheel drive and just use the transfer case, but we'll see. You gotta dig into it just a little bit more. What are you doing, bud? What? What are you doing? I wonder if I can see it in the phone. I'm gonna put it in front of my face. Let's see. Let's see if you guys can see it. Where's the sun at? 
Uh, yeah, I can see it with my eyes, but you can't see it with the phone. Yeah, it's barely peeking on the sun right now. This thing came out really nice. Fresh bed liner coating on there. You got any more left in there? That's it. That's it, bud. We got most of the frame. All the outside's coated with dish. Well, maybe what you'll see is good. Yeah. We need one more can. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Just got to get the rest of the inside. Yeah. But we can get that at any point. But all this stuff came out pretty good. I love that undercoating stuff. It really hides all kinds of stuff. Alrighty, we have done everything that we can do for the day. Removed the torsion springs. So it's actually slammed in the front right now because there's no springs at all. Uh, we'll get a set of coilers up there. We stripped it. We got it all power washed and painted. Looks a whole lot better than it did. So waiting on a housing to show up and then we can put the new leaf springs on, which are over there. And I still have to order the slider kit for back here. I think we'll have to drill some rivets out and they, they bolt on. So we'll have to see when those show up, when I order them, when they show up, what that entails. And then once everything is done with the chassis side of it on here, we will swap everything onto it. And then I'll have to send the transmission to FTI. I might get that out quicker, sooner than later and uh, send that to FTI so they can make it a shorty glide so that we can adapt it to our transfer case. All right guys, so in the name of weight savings, went ahead and I found a set of GM Silverado spindles. These are actually aluminum units and they save about eight and a half pounds per side. So I weighed them all out and these are off of a newer Silverado. I don't know the exact year, but somewhere 14 to 18, 20 area, something like that. Also went ahead and hit up my boys at TBM. They got us hooked up with some Silverado front brakes. These will fit 99 to 18. So very curious to see how much weight we actually save. So we're gonna go ahead and start ripping this thing apart and we're gonna weigh the factory spindle brake and everything combo, and then we'll put it together and then weigh the same combo with these parts right here and see how much weight we save. All right guys, we got our first spindle and brake assembly off uh, with the hub and everything. So I'm gonna go grab the scales and we'll put it on there and see how much it weighs. I can tell you right now, it's pretty heavy. All right guys, got the scales out. It's a little hard to read. This is an old set of scales, but they're all zeroed out. Bobby, step on that one just lightly real quick. That's gonna be that one there. All right, 29 pounds. It's a heavy leg. All right, y'all, do me a favor. Yeah. Set that rig on there. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Let's see 66 pounds it's pretty heavy dude <laughs> yeah so now i'll take it apart and see with the new brakes and spindle how much we're going to save per side all right guys so i seem to be missing some loctite so i'm only going to put a couple bolts in here and set this together just so we can weigh it real quick and then i'm going to run over to the park store and get some loctite then i can finish putting all this stuff together all right guys i've got this thing all mocked up assembled mock up assembled however you want to say it. Obviously we're missing a couple bolts in there, but it's not gonna be crazy difference or anything like that. Uh, the nice thing is this thing does come with new caliper bolts and everything. So nice big old metric 8.8 bolts, but let's put this thing on the scale and see how much weight it saves. Alrighty, let's see what this thing weighs. I can tell you right now, it's already a lot lighter. I'm gonna guess, see the other one was 66. I'm gonna guess 35. 
Let's see what we, oh wow. <laughs> oh, that was on the money, that's insane. I promise I did not weigh this before. So we saved 31 pounds right there between TBMs and a factory GM aluminum spindle. I'm gonna go ahead and list these kits on my website so you can get just the brakes or you can get the brakes and spindle and they will bolt onto your 9906. I don't know about the 07 liter stuff, but I think 14 to 20 or something uses the same spindle and these brakes will work from 99 to 2018. So if you're looking to save some weight up in front of your race truck, easiest way to do it, head on over to nkpracing.com, check them out, I'll have them up there. Also want to mention this does work for two wheel drive and four wheel drive. All right guys, that is one side complete. Need a more open wheel to show off them brakes. Well, that side is done. Let's get to the other side. All right guys, our TBM install is complete. Like I said, I'm gonna put these up on the website so you can get the TBM brakes and the spindles or just the TBM brakes. Uh, I may put the spindles up there just by themselves. You can run whatever brake you want, but these are good for about eight and a half pounds a side. So a total of 17 pounds and then the brakes were worth another 40-ish pounds, uh, just under 40 pounds. So altogether 62 pounds savings just from the spindle and the brake kit, not including the control arms that we're gonna be getting. Uh, those are still a little bit in the R&D and he should be having the control arms to me in a couple of few weeks or so. Um, and then we're gonna do some kryptonite inner and outer tie rods, but I'll have this full suspension once I get everything. I will have a full suspension kit um, for these trucks. Upper and lower control arms, these spindles and brakes, this will be more towards your four wheel drive kind of stuff. And then for the two wheel drive guys, we have another set of control arms that I have a set of. Those use a first gen F body spindle and those will be a five lug swap. So for your serious two wheel drive drag race stuff, those save a ton of weight. Uh, I ran them on that white truck before, so I already know that they save a lot. Uh, and it works really well. You get a lot better choice of wheel when you go five lug on these deals, but this being four wheel drive, I'm just gonna keep it six lug uh, and keep it simple for now. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this episode of four by four truck shenanigans. Come back for the next video. I'll explain what we're doing with the other truck and why that's over there where it's at and moonshine's over here. Appreciate you guys watching. As always, stay tuned. We'll see you in the next episode. Oh,